two and a half months to three months ago, she came to see me with her husband with complaints of chest pain, respiratory distress. Good day, Heaven World, and today you're welcome to Cetro's Vlog Family. I'm Joker Tolubali Cetro, and I have my husband. I'm Dara Cetro by name. In today's video, we're going to be showing you what the pastor of the late Osinachi had to say about the death of this wonderful woman. We bring you greetings in Jesus' name. We are in a season that calls for sober reflection in the light of the passing of our beloved sister, Osina Chinguachiku, who is a kingdom asset and a generational asset to this generation. In the light of so much misinformation, in the light of so much misconstruction of events, I decided to set straight what I know concerning the situation. Over two and a half months to three months ago, she came to see me with her husband with complaints of chest pain, respiratory distress. I prayed for her and prayed and prayed again. And when the symptoms did not abate, I counseled that they go to the hospital to help us to know exactly what we were dealing with. And they asked if I could assist, help them facilitate that process. I called our head of medical team, Dr. Sang, who is consultant pediatrician with the Federal Medical Center, Kefi, to assist handle their situation. And he called the Federal Medical Center, Jabi, called colleagues there where they attended to them. On seeing her, they ordered some investigations after examination, and that included CT scan, computerized axial tomography scan. That was done, and from what the doctors saw, they felt that there was need for further investigation, either at the University of Abuja Teaching Hospital or the National Hospital in Abuja. I called the doctor, consultant, pulmonologist, respiratory physician at the University of Abuja Teaching Hospital, Dr. Akko Alexander, told him the situation, and he asked that they come to see him immediately. And they went to the Guagualada Teaching Hospital. After they had examined her there and saw the situation, they felt that there was a need for histology and biopsy of the lung tissue and they, and they asked that she go to the national hospital to get that done. I again called the Dr. Jibrin, who is head of pathology and consultant histopathologist of the national hospital in Abuja and reported the issue to him and to help us go ahead with the investigations and find out what exactly happened. I am calling names and calling places because the people are available are alive and they are all verifiable. And then they continued the management. Um, the histology was done from what I saw at that time. The picture was much milder than what the CT scan earlier on showed. And so we felt very happy that at least there was relief. She called me daily, and we, literally daily, and prayed with her. She reported progress. The point came where she needed no oxygen anymore. Uh, according to what she said to me one night and that they checked her oxygen perfusion and it was 100 percent and we were very very excited at that progress that was the point it was before we went over to the crusade in cameroon it was at in cameroon the second night that i got to know of the unfortunate incidents of her passing now if there was domestic violence that led to or coincided with those symptoms that she came with two and a half months, two and a half months to three months ago, there is no way I would know. And if there had been perennial domestic violence, there was no way I would have known. 
The things we are hearing after her passing were things that were very, very strange to my hearing. Then I began to ask questions. First, I asked the twin sister, are you aware that your sister, were you aware that your sister passed through all these things? She said, yes, she knew some of them, but that the majority of them, she was hearing also from those she confided in. I asked her, I said, if you knew, why didn't you let us know? And the twin sister said, she always begged her, please don't let the church know, don't tell the pastor, please, the man will change, please, um, uh, just, 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 just pray for us, the man will change. And that continued to happen. I asked the first son yesterday, I said, was this real? And the son told other stories. And I said, so why didn't you tell me? Because typically they will run to me after service and I'll pray for them, lay hands on them. Why didn't you tell me about what was going on in the home? And the young man said, they couldn't tell me because the father would always ask them after they left me and said, what did you tell the pastor? Did you tell him anything? And so on and so forth. I, for the other members in the choir who were privy to this, some of the things that were going on, I asked one of them when we paid the visit to the house of the disease yesterday, what happened? Why were we not aware of all these things? The same story that she would always go on her knees and ask them, please don't, don't, just pray, don't, but trusting God for him to change. The last one that taught me so much was the music producer who came to see me in the office two days ago to tell me his own experience, how he witnessed that the man slapped the wife in his music studio. And I said to him, you saw a man slap a woman in your presence and you left the man alone and you are a man yourself. And he said before he could respond to the, to the man, the woman again in tears on her knees begged him not to do anything, to leave him alone, and not even to do anything at all, and so on and so forth. So we have had these stories, and this is all the things that we got to know after she had passed. As a person and as a church, everyone who knows us know that we have zero degree tolerance for domestic abuse and wife battery of any sort. If you ever listen to any of our relationship messages, there is a principle, a policy, and a rule we have. And that is, it is better to be alive without a marriage than to die because of marriage. We've said that over and over and over. I am sure that some of us would have listened to the clips of those messages. Now this kind of time is a time where people heap all manner of blames on the church and that is typical because whatever goes wrong anytime it is the first point of call is the church. I have seen people ask questions. Why should a wife abuser be a, a member of a church or how can somebody be so brutal and, and, and is, and is a, a member of the church? That is not a question that you should, that people who know scripture should ask. You know the ark of Noah, the same ark that carried good animals, also had evil beasts inside the same ark. You know Jesus Christ had the followership of what the Bible called the multitude. And for me, multitude means multiple attitudes, people with multiple inclinations. People with multiple tendencies. People with multiple behaviors. In fact, one of those that followed Jesus Christ who was a thief who also sold him to death. He was called Judas Iscariot. Question is, how could somebody follow Jesus Christ as perfect as Jesus was, as instructive as he was, as impactful as he was, and still be a thief and a murderer? That question is left for everybody to answer. And I can't tell you the worst of it all. There was a man, a personality called Lucifer, who was already was in heaven and became Satan, the devil, in the, under the nose of God, in heaven. 
a place where there was no sin and could have been no sin at all. This guy became the inventor and originator of sin. How is it possible for somebody to become a devil from being an archangel right inside heaven? That is how possible it is for anybody to be anything while inside the church. Even the best of pastors or preachers or teachers in the world cannot change any man or woman who is unwilling to be changed. In case you feel frustrated at anything and you are airing your frustration here and there is a transfer of frustration, a transfer of aggression. The church is not your place for transferring frustration and aggression. We are willing to help you. If you have so much bitterness, so much frustration, and so much distraction in your life, and you don't know where to vent it, but in situations like this, we can help you. We want to let you know we love you, and Jesus loves you. It is well with you, and it is well with your loved ones. For the family of the diseased, we pray for strength and help, and for the body of Christ generally, it is well with you. In Jesus' precious name, this is Dr. Pastor Paul Enenche, Senior Pastor, Dynamis International Gospel Center. God bless you. Based on the video you've just seen, you might need to agree with me to the fact that a lot of Christians are dying in high-level ignorance. And this is just one of them. Because looking at the scenario, you can now agree with me that, that the, the, the followers in the churches they might not be representing the church they belong to properly because the pastor is preaching one thing then the audience or the what the church members are executing what i call the extremist belief because i see no reason why there should be cover up against what is killing you or what is about killing you and the most painful part was even the uh what's it called the music director when this lady went to the studio and he she, she was there with her husband and her husband at the infantry to slap her the pastor now said he asked that and you were there as a man while we're discussing my husband said if he were to be the one he's going to make sure that he slaps that man back so that there's going to be a physical fight and somebody would take the phone these days or social media just place it online and all the other people that knew Let about me it i will not slap the man back i will beat the man the reason why we beat the man irrespective of whether he is the husband or not but for him to disrespect himself in my presence to slap his wife that needs a call to action by me and the way to respond as a very good christian is to do what prevent such from happening again by what? Defending the weaker vessel who happens to be the women. I would not stomach this because I grew up from a family where my own dad was doing exactly this kind of rubbish to my mom. And I can never take it. Now, let's, let's look at what we can decipher from this. A lot of people do not know that some belief system cannot work in every circumstances. It is not in all situations that some belief system do work. The Bible says that God hates divorce. It did not say that when you are in a marriage and they want to kill you, stay there till you are killed. My people perish for lack of knowledge. There are some instances that the only solution is just for you to run out of maybe a church or a marriage relationship, or a house you're living in, or any relationship. So I was faced with terrible situations in the year 2017 that I was about claiming my life. And the belief of the church I was in then was not enough to help me overcome such challenge. I needed more. I needed some fathers of faith that could speak over my life. So I had to leave. Although to some people around then, they felt this is a bad woman. She left but I saved my life. I knew Osinachi was there because she felt I have to be in a marriage. Uh, if I leave, nobody will call me minister. So it, 
let them say whatever. I have to leave the church. I now I'm I, I'm in another place that 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 open to things, and I found help then. So I think it's just lack of knowledge. And she was begging people, please don't tell the pastor. Do you know that all the people that knew about it, even her twin sister, they didn't tell the pastor. She did not tell the people that would deliver. I'm sure if the pastor knew about it. One time, they would have delivered her. Let me come in to say this. Most times, uh, a lot of people that are practicing Christianity in this part of the world, especially in Africa, they get to the extreme part. The extreme part in which they generalize the belief system of a particular sect to work for everybody. It doesn't work like that. Now, let's look at areas where we should be careful in life. And these following areas, you need most of the time you need to what to shift, to run, to move away from them, to to walk away, to walk out, as in to relocate. Number one is marriage. Some marriages are toxic, and they are leading you to your early grave, my dear. The Bible never says that you should not walk out of the danger zone. What of your mom? My home mom She's was, alive in, today. was in a toxic marriage like this that killed us, Osinachi. But she did what? She walked with her sixth sense. She walked away. She carried the four of us out of that and marriage. She remained unmarried to you date and she's alive with her children. Huh? Now that's one. Number two is the house you live in. The house you live in, there are some times that no matter the prayer you pray, you just need to watch to move out of that house. Until you move out of such houses, no matter. If the whole world is praying for you, it will not work. Number three, the churches. Don't be surprised. I mean what I'm saying. The churches you go to, there are some churches. There are some churches that... The, the, the belief system, the aura, the, the, the aura there, the belief system there, the doctrine there, does not match your challenge. And if you continue to say, oh, this is my father's church, this is my mother's church, this is my great-great-grand, let me tell you, you will die and the church will continue hmm. holding their services. Hmm. The only thing they will do for you is that they will come to your burial ground and do one minute silence and they will bury and they will sing and they will go back to their belief system and continue. Now, another time is the job that, you know, so many areas in life, we should have this sense that if something is not working, it's only a madman that continues to work with something that does not work. work. You should be open to change. The only constant thing in life is change. That was what would have killed my enemy in the year 2017. I released the video in 2020 to that effect. Yes, I, I released uh, I released the audio yeah, single, a track, a track to that effect. Maybe if my husband could just add it and add the, and add the meaning in English, it was just a Yoruba song. As in, I would have just died though. Okay. So it is not everything that is prayer, 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 fasting. No, some things you just us. walk out of it. Some territories you just have to walk out of them. Some places you just have to walk out because you may never know. Look at it now. This woman died, preventing the people that would have helped her out of the challenges to have access to the necessary information. And though one other side of mine is still not totally happy with the people that were keeping those, those kind of dangerous information from the people that could be of help. Now, at the end of the day, was it not the same pastor that they had to run, run to and is spending the money taking them from one hospital to the other? And yet, he was taking you, praying for you daily, and you did not... I, I think it was like a spell. It's not her. a spell. Let me tell you. She, you the, the husband did not allow you to tell. And the children said, the, the pastor said, why did you, did you tell me? They said their father was always monitoring. If they said it, if they told the pastor anything about that, that man was really evil. Please, let's use this video as a means to rescue thousands and hundreds of thousands of people that are still like Osinachi that are going through hell in numerous homes. Anyone saying you should not tell the other person is a devil. 
it be it your husband or your wife saying if anybody knows about this i'm going to do it or be it your parents or your children it can be any way it could be parents to children children to parents i don't even know husband to wife wife to husband a friend anything that that they say those because the only way you find help is by a problem shared is absorbed to the right quarters and you say the, the, the people that can help you that's why know. that's why we mentioned church there are some churches that even when your problem is not solved there they still want you to just remain there and die Thank there dear. and they know that there are some other churches there are some other places that can provide solution to your challenge but no 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 if you ever leave that belief system they believe that you are what you are, sinner. you are a sinner, you, are like gone, you have gone to hell. Whereas, result is not to be gotten from death. Any family, any relationship, any relationship, any marriage that cannot provide the necessary result for you, please, apart from prayer, take a walk. If it's not working, then it might not work. And taking the walk is not that we are against the Bible. No. no. The Bible says God is against divorce. Yes, taking a walk means you're taking a walk to save your life, to save your children, and you're staying separated. You're not going after another man or what another What the Bible woman. is saying is that you cannot marry another person while, while one of you is still alive. alive. Not that you cannot pack out of the house where they want to strangulate you, where they want to kick you, kick your ass, kick your chest. I still want to remain there. I want to believe also, that because this video will not be complete if we do not tell the truth, the whole truth. The family of Osinechi, the same belief system has, has opened them up for this satanic man to prey on them. Why? If you look at the mother of Osinechi, you will see written all over her is a particular belief system that has made her to be uh, forgiving, uh, soft-spoken mother. Uh, even in the on, in the phases in the phase of crisis, she still maintained her calm. Um, and I know that from from her look, you know that she's taking her time to even forgive whoever has done this to her daughter. But let me tell you, bad people easily catching on that forgiveness, uh, calmness, nature. Those virtues are good. But let me tell you. There comes to a time where you see that the life of your children is in danger. Go to the police. You will not rely on... The child is not... The child is not giving me information. The child is not talking. The... Do you know what the child is passing through every night that is making her not to give you information? So, let us help the people that are in these challenges by what? By being the voice to their voice that has been taken. Because what they do, what these bad guys do, is that they take away their voice. They silence them. If you are there and you have a neighbor of yours that is always pouncing the wife, pouncing uh, either the other way around, pouncing the wife or pouncing the husband, whichever way it is, please, let's start calling out. Let's start reaching out to the appropriate agency to pick up the man. You don't need to. You don't need to show that you are the you one that passed the information. Just because you are saving a life that might that might die unfulfilled. And I don't look know. Look at what Sinachi. Look at the grief. The old world. I, I, I. One of my clients. I, she's not in Nigeria. And she. She just told me. I said, so you also listen? She said, yes, I listen to her, although I don't understand the land, Nigerian language. So many souls across the world are crying because this is a woman whose song God is using to change situations, touch many lives. And this man just decided to cut off this voice because the devil possessed him. Ah. And some people knew about it. They could not help. No, it's so painful. And another thing that is killing people in this part of the world is, what will people say? That I'm broken up from my marriage. And another thing that keeps on destroying the lives of people in this part of the world is that you are not taking time for what 
is good for your life. You are busy thinking of, ah, what will people say? If I move out of his house now, they will say, I am not, a, I'm a divorcee. It's a single mom. It's better to be a divorcee. It's better to be a single mom than to be what? To be laid to rest by a fool, by an idiot, by somebody that has nothing. Because this man, according to what we've been hearing, there is no even, nobody is even talking about the profession of his. He is not doing anything tangible that, that the world should take note of. So, and you know such men, they have nothing, they rely on the wife. Now the wife, he took the wife as a cash cow. And apart from that, he has another wife outside there. Now let's, let's even ask this question. What if part of the money was getting from Osinachi, he was using it to do what? To sponsor the first wife and the, ch and the child. So you see, Christianity is not, uh, stupidity. Is not stupidity. Christianity doesn't make us a mediocre. You have your belief system, but make sure you what? You check up on your belief system that it doesn't make you to become an idiot. Because if your husband really loves you, even forget about it. It doesn't need to be a Christian to love you. It doesn't need to be a Muslim to love you. It doesn't mean to be an abalist to love you. He only needs to be a human being, a correct human being to love you. So if your husband loves you, he will not turn you to a punching bag. There is no love language in beating the other, the, the other partner of yours. So if you are in a, in a relationship that they are molesting you, please, Speak up. Now, another part that I don't want us to forget, please. In case this video gets to the church where Osinachi sister, because I understand they are twin sister. In case this video gets to the people around the twin sister, they should also check if our own husband too is doing this to her. Because I don't want to believe you are a twin sister to someone and they are malhandling your twin sister. You, you have access to such information. And both of you are attending that same church. You can, even if your sister is begging you, you cannot find a way of releasing such information to your pastor. So that unknowingly that you are the one that told the pastor. The you pastor can write can, a mail. You can write a, 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 what's this type of mail? That is coded mail. You say, what is sir, that? investigate. Investigate. This. this is what this man does to this woman. Investigate this. Just send out clinical. So they will have a clue. You now understand what I'm saying that people should check if she herself she's not going through such malhandling. Because the fact is because of the belief. Wait, I know what I'm saying. Because there is a belief system in the family of Osinachi that makes them to to be very, very calm, and that might make people to trample it's on their sim just the simplicity. Belief. It's not just the belief system. The Osinachi's family, they need help. Because I think at this time, people should come to the aid of Osinachi's family, the mom and the other sisters. Because those the, the, the people marrying the other sisters too might just be catching in on them because their father have died. And their first son, the first son of the mother, has also died. And you know, they came from a tribe in Nigeria, the eastern part. They only honor men, male children. And if you don't have males to stand for you, they feel the females don't have voices. So that's why the lady was dying in the hospital. The sisters went there. The man did not allow them to see. So I think people should just come to their aid and help them at this time. They need to help. What I believe is that... People should polish their belief system. Don't let your belief system turn you to somebody that the bad guys can just walk in and walk out free, free of charge, you know? Just manipulate you, bamboozle you with some spicy religiosity and put you in bondage. Please, let's help more than 100,000. I can just tell you. I can speculate that more than 100,000 women are still, are still going through this same thing. And they are in the churches. And they are, yeah. And they are still saying, the man, the man is going to change. 
the, the, and the man is even taking money from them to, to, to do things to other women. Please, women, let's pick out. To be in a bad marriage is to be in hell, as in one leg in heaven. One, where, before I got what, where, what, what, one what? leg on, on earth and the other one in hell. Hmm. <laughs> I think before I got wedded, I, I started knowing God from my youth. I said, God, I don't want to mismarry. I want to marry a man after God's heart. And I think if God has ever done anything for me, has done that for me, ah, uh, it's then I, let now this video will not will be inconclusive if we do not mention this. Let me tell you, majority of the pastors that we rise up in social media to condemn because we have free access to some airtime and free videos to cover us and likes and, and, and different majority, people to listen to us. Majority of these pastors that we condemn free of charge, if, you, they, if they tell you what they do, what they do, that is not televised, that is not announced, you will feel sorry for ever giving a wrong comment about their sacrifice. Before this video, who would have thought that the hospital that they carried this woman to was what was paid for was handled by uh, what's it called the connections and the likes of them was handled mm -hmm. by our pastor in the church. So please let us always have a balanced story. And who would have known that the pastor even knows about it was praying for her? And they, they did not tell him. And, and they were saying the pastor went to Kinika, went to Cameroon. So the pastor should not do what is called for again. He's been praying for this woman. And the woman and you know God doesn't answer. The Bible says God is a spirit. They that worship God must worship God in spirit and in truth. God expects openness. It's not that God couldn't heal her, but God wanted everything to be open. If you had just had that grace to open up everything, maybe the pastor just saying God take over and everything is gone. You just okay. pray for mercy for every one of I, us. At this point in time, I want to advise everyone, especially the single ladies, the men can always find their way. The single ladies in the church, don't allow your church dogma to destroy your life. Don't allow your church belief system to destroy your life. Wising up. If the man talks to you aggressively before wedding, it can only go higher after wedding. If the man says he's a Christian and is even stingy, after a wedding, it will not change you. It will go higher. Yes, so that's another <laughs> hey, thing. That's another watch. thing you should watch. That, that's, out. that's another thing. Like if a man is stingy oh. and he says a Christian oh. is stingy, he, when you are, you are in relationship, mm. he's not caring about you. Uh. Let mm. me tell you, be just. <laughs> and if a man cannot even listen to you, forget it. The man doesn't love you. Just go and pray to God again. God will give you the right man. If a, do you know the meaning of love? If a man really loves, the man cannot do a day without you. I remember when we were in courtship. Tell them. My husband bought me a phone. He would be calling me too much. Where I was working, everybody would know that you're in a relationship. That is love. Every second like this, the man cannot do without you. He was working in the bank. He would be calling me, calling, 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 calling. We'll be talking. But the one that... Uh... is just there. Mm. It's just this, that. <laughs> Forget well, it though. So, life is just a teacher. But I pray that we are not taught the hard way. So with that being said, we want to say thank you for thank listening. Thank you. And please, please, we want to have your comments in the comment section yeah. below. I think one of these days we're going to come live on yeah. this topic. So please, I think one of these days we have to come on live stream for, with this topic so that you can call in, yes, and tell us your experience because people have different experiences. Okay, encounters. I think we should not uh, take too much time on this. We can actually achieve this. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Okay. We're going to be doing a live stream on so this please, topic. We want you to call in. I will put the number that you will call in so that... In case you have people going through Yes, this, let's noise just, it across uh, the globe so that we can raise up help for them. We need 1,000 help for these women. The help is that what? We'll call the appropriate agency. Let them pick up the bully in the family so that they can we can save the lives of these women. So... We pray for the family that they, they take hearts. Okay. There is no prayer we can pray for Osinachi again. Once she's gone, gone. She's gone. We pray that we that are remaining will be able to fulfill our destinies 
We will not lack the knowledge of God. God will show us mercies to know what to do at the right time and do it well. And we pray for the church. God will give them the heart to be the whole body of Christ. It's not just our church now, but mm. she's a blessing to the whole world. We pray God gives us the God give us the grace to bear this at this time. Okay. So we come your way next time. We remain the setters. Catch you. Love you. Bye-bye.